welcome back to another video it is the most gorgeous day today i woke up feeling very very tired i went to a squash tournament last night which i'll tell you about in a second but i feel like it's a classic that like if the sky was gray i would have been like oh i just feel so tired all day but i came downstairs and the skies were blue and it's just put me in literally the best mood ever and this massive squash competition last night which was in canary wharf in london in a very very impressive building just such a cool setup i haven't been to watch a squash competition for quite a long time if you're new to this channel you might not know that i the reason i kind of even got into like fitness in the first place was because i was a squash player growing up it was such a fun night i went with my sister as well but i told elliot that i'm gonna have to take him next time because he's never really gone and watched a big competition before i did take a few little clips which i'll insert here i don't think the footage was very good because we were quite high up and i couldn't really get like a good i don't know just good footage to put in to the video to show you properly. unusual Thursday in that one of my best friends is coming to our house first time she's seen our new house about five o'clock and it's actually her birthday we planned to go away originally and then she actually suggested she was like why don't I just come and stay at yours instead because it's going to feel like a bit of a trip out of London for her she still lives in London and um, like a lot of my friends do so she's going to get the train out and we're going to kind of celebrate her birthday here with two of my other friends which will be really really fun so I've popped the shot up and I really want to make some cookies this morning and basically I just I just know I'm going to spend the whole day procrastinating and not doing any of the work I need to do but you know that's totally fine I genuinely feel like it's like a summer's day today even though it's pretty nippy outside Side. but i'm gonna get food to make us a really nice meal tonight get some gin and tonic get some snacks i'm gonna make her some rollo cookies if they've got rollos in here if not it's just gonna be normal cookies and yeah i'm really excited because i feel like this is kind of gonna be the first time i've like really hosted some of my friends in our new house which will be fab so just got back from the co-op and we needed a top up of oats i got some very boring basic things as well but i'm gonna make my oh Um, I actually used to go and fill these up at a zero waste store, but I need to find one here. So I'm wondering where our nearest one is, but for now we've got co-op own brand oats. Then I decided for dinner for me and my friends, and realistically, <laughs> realistically Elliot as well tonight, I, uh, you'll be happy about this as well, I'm going to make carbonara. Then I'm also going to make some Rolos cookies. I felt like I looked mad buying all these packs of Rolos. I've never made these before, but I found a really good recipe on Jane's Patisserie. I just Googled it and that was the first thing that came up. So I'm going to give them a shot. I also picked up two bunches of flowers. They were actually only from our local supermarket, but I think when I put them together, they're going to look really pretty. Me and my friends always do this thing. So I, before I lived with Elliot, I lived with five of my friends. And before that, I lived with two of them. So we, I went from like a three bed to a five bed to just with Elliot. And for all of our birthdays, we do these really cute like spreads of things on the table in the lounge with like banners and balloons and either like cakes or cookies with candles in and like just a really cute little setup with all the cards out on the table. So I am gonna do that for her today because I feel like it's like, it's almost like tradition now. change is the vase I don't know if the vase is a little bit too tall but I don't know I'm gonna have to see if I can fish out a smaller one but I just think considering they're just from a local supermarket so we can hear Elliot crunching his bagel in the background <laughs> you're gonna be so close to the mic as well mm. <laughs> like eating noises um 
But yeah, I think considering they're just from a little local supermarket, they look so beautiful. <laughs> bunches of flowers in our house this morning. I'm actually gonna spread them out into different locations. But this is a lovely bunch that I'd bought for my friend's birthday, but obviously she wasn't gonna be able to take it back with her. <laughs> so they just ended up being in our house. One of my friends bought me these. They're actually flopping over a little bit, which is such a shame. I don't really have a vase that's exactly the right shape for them, but the colors are just so gorgeous. And then I woke up this morning to these from Elliot, which was such a lovely surprise. I just think they are absolutely beautiful. And yeah, I can believe it. I was so, I honestly made me so happy. I was like, this is truly the way to my heart. I put them in the dark green sort of tortoise shell effect vase, which you might remember from my vlog because I actually filmed when I got that in HomeSense. And that's the first bunch of flowers that I've actually used it for. I think the darker pinks with that vase just work so, so well. But along with the weather, they are bringing me so so much joy today so it's actually a few days later now and we have just had continuously the most beautiful weather and the weather forecast for this week coming it's like two days we've got 17 degrees which might not sound like a big deal if you're not from the uk but if you are from the uk like 17 degrees in April is just mad and it's actually so sunny as well. I ended up not really getting any footage when I was with my friends. Um, I just kind of wanted to enjoy the time with them. I also had a big night out for my friend's birthday last night. So I'm not feeling 100% today, let's just put it that way. But I've had such a lovely couple of days of amazing food. I know I got a few clips of food, flowers, just such nice, happy times and making such lovely memories. Today I'm having a very chill day. Elliot has actually gone to see some members of his family. So I've actually got a bit of a Sunday by myself. I'm gonna watch the Formula One, which I'm really excited for. We got very into Drive to Survive, which I know a lot of people have. I genuinely just didn't know a lot about Formula One before. I'm gonna watch that, which is on really, really soon. I've actually just had my desk chair delivered and I've not opened the box yet, so I thought we could open it together. I'm really excited to show you which desk chair I actually ended up going for and I really hope it's as nice as it looked in the pictures. I'm so looking forward to using that room as my study this week. So let's go and set up this chair. So we bought this desk chair from Cult Furniture, which luckily seemed to have quite a lot of their products on a quick delivery service. I'm telling you, buying furniture for your house is no joke in terms of uh, delivery waiting times. So this is the chair and I cannot believe it's fitting in this box. It's obviously come in parts and this is the material. I can't wait to see this. It looks, oh, it looks like it's gonna be so nice. lighting but this is how the chair is gonna look and oh I love it so much you've got to use your imagination slightly because I haven't put the wheels on 
because the wheels it comes with are actually they're kind of the standard office chair wheels but they sort of tear up the carpet they're very much designed for putting it on a hard floor so just like Elliot's done for his desk chair I actually need to order some wheels to go on the bottom that are slightly different but he just got some from Amazon on next day delivery so obviously at the moment the chair is sitting a little bit lower than it will but I just think that looks so gorgeous so in the end I went for this shape and the main reason I did is because this shape so it'll be easier to do when it's on wheels so it'll completely tuck in to look like that obviously imagine it's sitting a little bit higher up and I think that just makes so much more sense and having the one that was more of like a tub chair that had sort of an armrest thing which would have used up a lot more space because you wouldn't have been able to tuck it in properly I can't wait to have this room completely finished. I feel like, I know it sounds like not a big deal because it's just one chair, but having the chair in this space just makes it feel so much more done. And I feel like I can then visualize everything else. Before I was like, God, it looks like so plain. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the desk. It just looks like, I love the desk so much, but I just couldn't, I don't know what it was. I just felt like it wasn't like a proper room, just like a collection of random things. And I think this was such a good choice. I'm so glad I went with this one. I'm really glad that I went with the silver base because I think the goldy brass base would have looked a bit, I don't know, maybe a little bit cheap. I don't know. I feel bad saying that. But I do sometimes think that the only problem with gold finish, if it's not done in a really tasteful way, it doesn't always look amazing. So even though for the handles and things in this room, I do want to go for a brass or gold sort of brass effect finish. I think having the legs in silver just really works. So this week is gonna be the first week that I would have been able to sit at my desk properly. I'm now just trying to sort a couple of other things that I really want to do in this room. One of them is definitely to have a few shelves above this desk. So yeah, after some careful consideration and just a lot of time looking on Pinterest, I decided that the best way to cover up this kind of mess on the wall uh, where they used to have a TV and the plug socket would be to have maybe two, two or three, probably two shelves. And then I can have a basket or something sat in front of the plug socket so it's not as obvious. And then hopefully the shelves will also cover the marks in the wall because filling those and then repainting, I actually think would also look really messy. So I can move the desk along a little bit further and make sure to position the shelves in a really good place to kind of cover all of that up. I think my best bet really is to get an extension lead that just goes down to the bottom because that is the only working plug socket in this room right there. So as well as a space where I plug in my laptop, I also need to be able to plug in my hairdryer and just anything else, you know, at the moment it's got a phone charger in. So I think an extension lead would probably just be a really good idea. Then I'm still thinking of a solution for this mirror because it is just far too big for this space. And as much as I love having a big mirror here, I just think one that's like a little bit smaller would make all the difference. But we are absolutely getting here with this room. I feel so happy with how it's looking. Just needs to choose some artwork. And yeah, I feel like it's really coming together. I just love the idea of this being a gorgeous, bright, spacious area for me to work in. a very irregular occurrence but I'm just out for a sunset walk to end my Sunday. It's such a beautiful evening. I know this probably sounds bizarre because it couldn't be a more different environment but it really really reminds me of being in Kenya. I think that's because we were on safari always at this time of day like right into the evening. The sunset goes down and it gets a little bit cooler and it's just so so calm. This new area we've moved to as well is just so quiet and peaceful. And yeah, it's just bringing back lots of memories. I thought I'd close the video off here because I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna make some bolognese and have a really relaxing evening by myself, which so rarely happens, but I'm actually just looking forward to it. I'm gonna get my to-do list done for Monday and just feel really rested and organized. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, please subscribe if you do wanna stick around and I'll see you in Wednesday's video. Bye.